past year has been really hard for everybody and as it draws to a close, we still face massive challenges as a result of this awful pandemic. It's really important over the coming days and weeks to follow the public health advice, to stay safe and to look after each other. There is light at the end of the tunnel as the vaccination programme now is being rolled out and we know that this pandemic won't last forever and life will start to return to normal in the coming year. For many of us, the last year has been about re-evaluating our priorities. This started with the general election campaign and has grown since then. It's hard to believe that that election was a year ago. An election called because the Fine Gael Minister for Health faced a motion of no confidence as the health system was on the verge of collapse with staff leaving in their droves, elderly people left to suffer for days on hospital trolleys and out of control waiting lists. We had at that time an out of touch government which supported developers and landlords while working people and young people were unable to afford a home. Rents spiralled and people who had worked hard all of their lives were being told to go to the dole queue at the age of 65. It was a strong desire for change and a better future that saw so many place their trust in us and Sinn Féin received a historic vote in the general election and that support has continued to grow since then. The weaknesses exposed by the pandemic has made that desire for change even stronger. 2021 can be a fresh start for all of us. Though so many people have suffered greatly, the pandemic has shown that there is no challenge we cannot meet and overcome when we are together and united. With the right policies and the right vision, we can fix housing, we can strengthen our public health service and rebuild an economy that truly delivers for workers and families. And we can take the next exciting steps in our journey to Irish unity. That opportunity for a fairer, stronger, better Ireland lies on the far side of this crisis. It's a vision of a new Ireland. It's achievable and it belongs to each of us. 2021 can be the year of change, the year of the people for the people. It can be the year when we put things right. And putting things right means ensuring a secure roof over your head. We need the biggest affordable and social housing programmes in the history of the state, not big paydays for wealthy developers and landlords. We need to make homes affordable for workers again and out of control rents must be tackled head on. It also means sorting out our health services once and for all and that starts with treating our frontline staff properly and making sure that they see their future here in Ireland and not on the far side of the world. Student nurses and midwives will again this year be at the front line and they must be paid. Putting things right means that when you have worked hard all of your life that you have the right to retire on a pension at the age of 65 if you wish. It also means deepening the conversation about Irish unity and the Irish government needs to start planning because the reality is that we can't afford partition and working together on this island is the best way to secure our future. This is a New Year's like no other. We have lost much. We grieve and we are hurt. But despite the heartache, we will endure and we will recover. Some may say that 2020 is best forgotten, but I disagree. I think it's best to remember it as the year we carried each other through. The year we unleashed the power of the little acts of kindness and love. The year we held our loved ones that little bit closer. The year we renewed our appreciation for a good neighbour and a loyal community. These are things not to be forgotten, but cherished because they are, after all, the most important things. I want to thank all of our members, our supporters and our elected representatives for all of your efforts over the last year. I also want to thank our friends right across the world, particularly in the United States and Canada. As we take these first steps into 2021, we know that we will walk the road together, no matter how hard or uncertain it may be, better days are coming. I want to wish you and your family all the best for that journey ahead. Stay strong, stay safe, keep the faith. We will come through this 
Abelin Fuivashi Dave Galer.